Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. The last album surpassed 30 million streams on Boomplay. His latest single is doing amazing locally and internationally. Aside from being somebody who social media loves to hate, Your Maps has made his way in our hearts that every single time you just hear, it's your boy, it's gonna be a banger. Joining us on the upper stage, the one and only Mr. Maps. How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing fine. <laughs> yeah, you don't believe. I love your, entire, your introduction. I, I mean, we have to make you feel <laughs> yeah. the star that you are. I mean, you raptured the industry when you came in um most people would think of it as an overnight sensation but we saw you work your way up you know with dreams your collaboration with Mackie too yeah. and then finally like the song finally you <laughs> just you, you just became this person that you are i don't want to ask a shallow question but i guess people do really want to know yeah. how has the journey been to now being zambia's biggest music star um you know it's exciting you know uh, yeah we sometimes we get certain things for free <laughs> that's the benefit i'm excited so for that maybe let me say that's the advantage mm -hmm. yeah so yeah it's it's uh, it comes with a lot of uh, responsibilities mm -hmm. you know uh, challenges here and there so yeah but we are doing fine we you're doing okay. amazing i mean it's one thing for you to rise to prominence and be that person who makes good music but one thing we've seen with the industry Industries, how people handle when this fame comes when yeah. this money comes yeah. you know people don't create music as much people get lazy but you've been at it consistently yeah. what do you think that is is it the team that you came up with they were already knew you guys already had a business mindset this is where we're going did you think this was where you're going to be how have you guys consistently stayed and after getting to the top you're not comfortable yeah. you're still pushing and trying to make you know more music and make a difference um because i've come to understand that music is business mm -hmm. you know music is business just like any other business and you need to understand that business is risky yeah yeah so so that's the thing so um i make sure that i i do what i have to do you know to make sure that oh Brandy, yes, yes, yes. We talk about this. Okay. You're, you're safe here. You're safe here. Yeah. So, so that's the thing, you know. Mm. Um, and you need to work with people who understand what you want to achieve. Mm. You know, because you have to my ideas and you and then you need to work with people who understands you. You know, um, who knows what you want and um, what you want to achieve. That's amazing. Now yeah. you've parted with some very interesting people in your journey yeah and <laughs> we've seen you know the social media of it all and one thing you really did is uh, you made people shake on their social media i mean every single two weeks there was a your maps coming up and um that's why i really want to dive into this particular question yeah. the song that we haven't heard but we know is coming yeah. uh, Kale. Kale we munandi. Kale we munandi. yes mm. uh, was that song a response to people's fire kandeke emblem uh no uh, it's a song for people who cares for other people mm -hmm. you know it's a song for people who can sacrifice their time and everything for you yes you know uh it's a song for people who have seen us grow you know um people who knows like about yeah. you know like they can die for you yeah <laughs> yeah so that's uh, that's what i was trying to talk about now you, you you your brand has been associated with people like even when we saw your show at the music club there's always people around there's always yeah. a family around and also with the fans i mean us the fans because it was your maps and because of social media it's like you're somebody who's there who's close enough and that's why sometimes fans get very overzealous mm -hmm. they they attack you in the comment section yeah. they have all of these nicknames for you and your wife the Olios, and all of this and you've handled it in very interesting ways sometimes you know you go out to social media and respond yeah. sometimes it's through music sometimes through music. how how do you handle fans and some some because i want to know because it seems like life yako or your life is on social media Some do you social shut media. it down sometimes and just say i'm going to do this let me how do you handle fans and all of this that's 
in your hand? Uh, so, uh, first of all, you need to understand that um, you know you are a public figure, mm. and uh, when you become a public figure, trust me, there is a lot of responsibility that comes with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, as uh, being a public figure, you need to understand that it's not everyone that will love you. First yeah. of all, it's not everyone that is going to say, "Hey, but tika, but tika," you know. Yeah. So, um, you need to um, accept their opinions. You know, uh, this one might say if it's vinawame, this one might say it's vinawame. It's okay, but sometimes we learn from their opinions. Mm -hmm. You understand? Yeah. So that's how I. <laughs> it's amazing to see because in the new year we've seen that there's like a brand cleanup. Yeah, you're doing something different. You guys are very quiet this year. You know, we haven't heard any, and I love that this year is also trying to achieve bigger, which is a try again yeah, album at yeah, the end of it all. Yeah. Oh, tell us a little bit more about that. Okay, so uh, Try Again is a song title of my album, mm. and uh, it's called Try Again, and uh, which um, the album is set to uh, drop on the 27th of May, mm. 2023. Yeah. You know, so we are doing fill up heroes. Yeah, so I'm um, challenging myself. <laughs> you know, like I said, business is risky. Business so, is business. Yeah, so business is business. So yeah, so we are doing fill up heroes this year, and uh, it's going to take place on the 27th. 7th of May 2023. Mm. So Try Again is a song which um, encouraging young people. You know, um, I understand that we, some of us might have bad situations, you know, some of us going through hell, some of, some of us, there's a lot of things going on, you know. But I'm here to tell those people that you can still try again. Yeah. Yeah, no matter how much you fall, remember, you can still rise up. You can still rise up. Try again. You can still try. You, you just have to try yes, again. Try again. Yeah. Now, is this single going to come out before the album? Or before, do be? Yes, before the album. Before the album. Do you have a date for it? Is it a feature? Yeah, it's a feature. <laughs> Who's featuring? <laughs> Who's <laughs> featuring? <laughs> okay, we've, we've um, heard a few. So, go, you are, you're going to say something. Who's featuring on Try Again? On Try Again. Mm. Um, as I'm an artist. They call you greedy. That's what we'll get. A gospel artist. Is it FM? No. Okay. You tell me after the break. <laughs> you're going to tell me. You're going to tell me after the break. You're going to tell me after the break. But not on team. You're going to tell me after the break. People are watching in right now. There's a lot of comments, and we'll get to your comments. But I still have to get into more conversation with you. Yeah. You've spoken of filling up Hero Stadium, and this year being a year of a bigger end. Yeah. Um, at your press briefing, you mentioned something about a music school, and this is something that a lot of people do talk about. A lot of artists, just the entertainment industry in the country. There's talent, but there's no nurturing of the talent. Why is the music school such a big part for you? Why do you want to contribute to our country and our industry in such a huge way? Um, you know, when I started, I um, had a couple of challenges, you know, uh, 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 you know, as an upcoming artist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so... Um, you know, I think we... As an upcoming uh, people, we need a platform. Mm -hmm. You know, we need a platform. So I thought of um, building up a school, and I think that school will help a couple of people and young people. Yeah, yeah. So it's, a, it's just a platform for younger people, just to bring up amazing talent. Yeah, yeah. Now, as I said, we have messages from the people, and the messages will be beamed up shortly as we get to wrap up our conversation. It's been amazing to talk to you, but I can't let you go without addressing some social media questions. Okay. I did. I did ask people would say what would you like me to ask and um these are just you know your your thoughts on this one yeah. particular thing uh, one prominent thing that happened last year was the comparison of chile one and yourself yeah have you spoken to him are you in contact with him what do you think of him have you listened to his latest song even before he dropped the song yeah at um, a certain time, mm. I was with him in the studio at Stashes. Oh, yeah. So you, th there's no beef here. <laughs> you are the beef. <laughs> we are the beef. <laughs> we are the beef. The moment we have no beef. This is a beef. So between you guys, no, no. Is he going to be on the album? Um. I'm trying to convey my information. You yes, because you're your here. I mean, you have to give us the exclusive. <laughs> this uh, is this is what interviews are. We want to know. So, is he going to be on the album? 
uh, okay I'll, I'll i'll tell you um, i'm going to answer that question later not now on this same interview on this same interview on another date or here on another day. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming through. It's been so much fun speaking to you. Okay. Try Again is coming out soon. Um, are you going to drop just the single Try Again before the album? What's the road plan like up until we get to fill up Hero Stadium? Okay, so um, we're going to drop um, 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 another song, you know, yes. a single song. Yeah, then after that song, then we'll drop Try Again, mm -hmm. you know, just to... Um, just to continue pushing with the momentum. Yeah, with the momentum. Before we let you go, we have our messages ready, so the messages are gonna pop up. And um, so our first message says, "Good afternoon. I'm enjoying the show. Your boy, your maps. You're doing really a really good job. I stopped school just to be your number one fan. <laughs> Otherwise, you're really doing a good job, Mr. Olio." Another person says, "I love you, your maps. Alam bika kumukaka milk. I'm EJ Yamula from Dola, and your map." I see you is our last text message of that. Now this has been the best rundown of the Z Pop culture scene. We've been talking to the one and only Mr. Your Maps. Thank AKA you so much. Audios. The audios. How are the audios, <laughs> by the way? How's home with the audios? <laughs> we are doing fine. We're amazing. I hope to see you again and have more conversations like this. I, I hope you. I wasn't as vutaling as I was um, on social media. No, what vutan do to my phone? All right. All right. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.